Hello everyone, today is going to be the first video in 2019 and I'm going to talk about how to automatically hide columns based on cell value uh, with some very easy macro codes. Uh, so this video is actually corresponding to my previous video, uh, how to automatically hide rows based on cell value. Um, so you can see I have this video up here and then I have some people asking, okay, so this is for hiding rows. Can you do one that's hiding uh, the columns? So this is why I'm making this video to um, share with you how to uh, hide columns based on cell value. So actually um, it is as easy as the previous one. So first, let's set up the uh, the scene here. So again, we have a drop down box here. Uh, one is Canada, one is India, um, and then we have um, four columns corresponding to Canada, and then four columns corresponding to India. Um, so let's say what I want to do now is that if I choose Canada, I want to only show the Canada columns, and then when I want to have it to Indian, then you can see I want to show it only as Indian and then the Canadian, uh, the Canada columns are, sh are hidden. Okay, so how do we do that? So now let's come to a blank. Uh, this is the starting point. Uh, we have the drop down set up um, and uh, let's look at the codes. So I've already written the codes uh, so that it's easy uh, for you to understand. And I have the codes uh, in the description. So um, once you understand the codes, you can just easily copy and paste to your own um, file. And then you can customize based on your specific needs. OK, so this is the um, the, the codes that I have here. Um, so actually, let's just go through um, what it is in here. So first, it's selecting the active sheets. Uh, which is this one, uh, and then it's saying that okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna do all the following uh, actions based on range C five, which is actually this highlighted cell here, um, and uh, it's saying that okay, if in uh, the range C five here, the case the content is Canada, which is exactly the case now, uh, we wanna make sure the columns I two L are hidden, which is true. And then we want to make sure the columns E to H uh, is not hidden, which is false. So actually, if you compare this code to um, what I have for uh, the previous one, which is the hiding row, um, hiding row um, video, you can see the only reference change that I made was uh, I changed all the row reference to column, and I changed uh, the row number to the column number. Here, here you go. So yeah, so basically that's a, that's the only thing I changed, um, and um, and uh, now you can see uh, and actually the same thing we do with Indian. So if we select Indian here, we want to make sure all the columns um, I to L are uh, not hidden, and then E to H are hidden. And then you end selection, and if end sub. So um, what I need to emphasize is that when you copy and paste the macro code, it has to be in the exactly same format as what I have, uh, because this is programming, and uh, it's not going to work um, even if a very tiny space is not aligned. OK, so this is a code that we have for this active spreadsheet. So now let's save it, and then uh, you can uh, minimize it or close it. And then now let's select this and see what happens. Here you go. So now you have only Indian uh, grades shown if you select India, and you have only Canada sh uh, grades shown as Canada. OK, so basically this is how you hide columns uh, based on cell value. Uh, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.